years, the dawn of successful talking moving pictures has apparently been near. It seems simple enough. Just take a phonograph record and a moving picture film and keep them in synchronism, as the engineers call it. But paradoxically, in this very simplicity lay the greatest difficulty. Films are, come, are bound to break, and thus the picture becomes shorter and shorter while the sound record retains its original length. So for many years, the apparently simple problem was an unanswerable riddle. You are now listening to a talking moving picture whose synchronism is not only perfect, but foolproof. It is the invention of Dr. Lee DeForest, the noted scientist who invented the audio tube without which we would have neither radio nor transcontinental telephony. Dr. DeForest plays an entirely original task. He photographs the voice on the same film right beside the picture. And for the voice reproduction, he applies the principles of radio, a subject in which he is eminently qualified. Here, is a piece of Dr. DeForest's film. It is exactly the same as an ordinary moving picture film, with one exception. That is the margin here, which contains a series of horizontal lines of various widths and spacings. That is the voice record. Thus we have a talking picture in the literal sense of the word. There is no phonograph, no separation of the voice and picture, the film itself actually reproduces both. This to which you are now listening does more than synchronize the voice with the action. It synchronizes the voice with lip movement. I shall now pronounce the word pyrotechnic. The sound and accent, as you hear them, correspond exactly to the motion of my lips. Now observe closely while I repeat it. Pyrotechnic. When a divorce film needs repair due to breakage, or if it is desired to eliminate any part or parts of the picture, it can be done in exactly the same manner as would be employed with an ordinary moving picture film, without affecting the synchronism of voice and action in the subsequent footage, and without makeshift adjustments of any kind. This is the difference between the divorce talking moving picture and all others. This is what makes it practical for everyday use. This talking moving picture can be shown under daylight conditions with a portable equipment that can be readily transported from place to place and which can be operated by anybody who can operate a moving picture projector and a radio set. It can be shown in stores, display rooms, offices, factories, in fact most anywhere. As a medium, for attracting crowds to store windows or booths at expositions, fairs, and the like, it has no equal. Having explained to you the practicability of the divorce talking moving picture, let me now point out its significance to commercial organizations. Testimonial advertising can be made to come to life. Products can be shown in the home, conveying a home-like atmosphere, and an actual user of the product can be seen and heard recommending it. 